Um, yes, um, my name is Victor Lapuma, and I'm from the Virgin Islands. And um, uh, my question is on the JICO asset uh, asset side. Uh, one of the things that makes Berkshire unique is the high percentage in equity as opposed to fixed assets. And JICO, uh, as of uh, the end of the year, looked like a typical insurance company with four times the fixed assets as um, equity assets. And my question is, over time, will they have the same composite as, um, as Berkshire on the asset side? And the second part of that question is, um, how, how are the asset allocations uh, decisions being made at JICO after the merger as compared to before the merger? The, um, the decisions at JICO, which as you say is about $5 billion of, of uh, marketable securities, have been made and are being made and will be made by Lou Simpson. Lou has done a fabulous job uh, of running the investments of GEICO since about 1979, and we're lucky to have him. There are very few people that I will let run money, <laughs> running businesses, uh, that we have control over, but we're delighted in the case of Lou. I mean, it's, it's one in a thousand or something, but, it, but uh, Lou has done a terrific job, will do a job, and the one thing we offer him, th he has the ability to do whatever he wants to do with those assets now. He did not have that ability before Geico became part of, of Berkshire because at that time there were certain ratios re that were necessary for, which were understandably necessary, that made sense. Where with Geico as a standalone entity with its own net worth of a billion and a half or two billion and doing three billion of business, it would have been inappropriate for him to take on a different configuration beyond a certain point in equities. So he was constrained by the nature of the business he was in and its capitalization. That constraint no longer applies. So he, with that five billion, can do whatever he wants. Now, if he does certain things, we, we, we would need to provide backup to GEICO so that their policyholders would be protected under the most adverse of circumstances. But that's no problem for us. We could do it by quota share reinsurance. We could do a lot of things. We could just guarantee their obligations. And we are in a position to do that. We haven't done it yet because it's not, hadn't been necessary yet. But if if it made sense, if, if, Guy, if, if, if Lou wanted to be $5 billion in equities and, it made, and it, made, it made sense, we would arrange things so that the GEICO policyholders would be every bit as secure as under the most conservative of investment portfolios. So Lou has another string to his bow now, and, and there may be a time when it gets used. He, he's been great under the old system, and he may be better under the system. That's a... Uh, very shrewd question. Mm. You're to be complimented. Mm. Yeah. That means it's something we thought about <laughs> before. <laughs> but you are to be complimented, right? Mm. 